I must say that I was taken aback by the decision of the Caribbean Examinations Council, the CXC, um, to suspend four subjects that are currently being offered at the CSEC level, that is at the secondary level, and at the CAPE level, which is the advanced proficiency level. The subjects are Agricultural Science Double Award, Mechanical Engineering, Green Engineering, and Electrical and Electronic Engineering. Those subjects are critical to the attainment of the Sustainable Development Goals, not just for St. Lucia, but for the Caribbean as a region. But the CXC has cited that over the years, they've been realizing that the numbers have dwindled um, as far as students enrolling for the four subjects. So it does not make much business sense to them as far as they're concerned to continue offering those subjects. But given the importance of the subject areas um, in terms of the level of training they afford, uh, young people in the Caribbean and how significant those areas are to the development of individual member states and also as a collective, I believe it is something that needs to be revisited. The onus is on not just the CXC administration, but also the member states of, of the Caribbean um, that, that, that subscribe to the CXC to ensure that we encourage our students to gravitate towards the subjects that have been mentioned. Look at Agricultural Science Double Award, for instance. We have a serious food security issue in St. Lucia and by extension the Caribbean. And so any attempt to get our students to be sensitized towards the benefits of agriculture at a young age can only augur well for some of the food security issues we have in the region. So um, from a personal standpoint and from a St. Lucia standpoint, we do not want to see Agricultural Science Double Award removed from the list of subjects being offered by, by the CXC. When you look at green engineering and mechanical engineering, we are at the moment pushing a TVET agenda which we believe can bring about a particular type of transformation in our society. We're also pushing STEM education. So the more students we can have gravitate towards the subject, the better it, it would augur for St. Lucia for our development and to help us meet some of the critical um, goals and strategic objectives that we have set for ourselves as a country. So I want to profit the opportunity to implore the schools, the teachers, educators, um, the planning unit of the Ministry of Education to begin to devise um, plans and initiatives that would make those subjects more attractive and to get more students to gravitate towards them. This can only serve the region better. But the decision to, to halt and, and to stop offering the subjects that I've mentioned, um, I believe, is not in the best interest of the development of the region. But the CXC would have cited low enrollment, and for them, I guess it was a business decision. I have not spoken to anybody at the level of the CXC um, to get a detailed account as to what would have informed the decision, quite apart from the very broad declaration that was made in relation to low enrollment. But the one thing I know for a fact, and also as the Minister for Sustainable Development, when you take into consideration subjects like green energy, um, agricultural science, those have a tremendous amount of importance for our attainment of the sustainable development goals that we, we have subscribed to as St. Lucia, as a region, and we have to do everything um, within our powers as educators, as policymakers, to get our children to move in that direction. So with the pronouncement having been made by the CXC, I'm hoping that soon from today, at least at the level of, of the ministers of education of the region, um, we can meet with Dr. Wesley, who is the registrar of CXC, to revisit that decision, but ultimately find ways to cause our children to gravitate towards the subjects that form the STEM group and subjects that, that have relevance um, for the kind of society and the kind of, of economy that we want moving forward. There's a great impetus right now on green energy. Um, the need for us to resort to alternative forms of energy other than that, that decades-old reliance on fossil fuel. And this is the direction in which the region, we want the region to move. And we can't wait till people have enrolled at university um, to begin to sensitize them and to trigger the transformation that we need. But at, le at the level of the primary and secondary schools, um, we can begin to sensitize them and get them to develop an appreciation for some of the subject areas that, that will become indispensable as we move forward to modernizing not just St. Lucia, but the region. <laughs>